Huna kubonele kufamba nao, kazwe prezende wa sera la maposa, vasumbezo dhimisera havo, uimisa mshumo ni msirelezo wa rushaka, mbobu sisi wa mkwevane. Izo ndinga mrao msi, wala maposa, mbongwa ilabu mkwevane, vachiva humbera uri, baba necheze mbuno, kama dhuba afumi adaho, uri ndinga ni vasungotea uimiswa mshumo ni. Fedzi ba ofisi ya mtsirelezi wa rushaka, bariba kadiwana ngele chezo ya zamulayo kapungo ili. Chepikara cha paramende, wano sifiwe mapisa ngakula. Wodi wa zaino vege, oreza machimbi zerwe au visa, wamkweba ni chiduroni. Zido vera panda na uwa kwa teanda yote wa, woche ya umisana murahu katoro yabo, kazo machimbi zerwe au wab visa chiduroni. Maura politiki, ova muromo, ngandira itebela ho. We look forward to the speedy finalization of this inquiry, given the crucial role that the public protector plays in fighting corruption and maladministration in the country, and the lengthy delays that have already taken place in the finalization of this process. The Economic Freedom Fighters reject Cyril Ramaphosa's premature and dictatorial attempt to suspend the public protector. This is another move where he is misusing his prerogative to sideline and destroy an African woman. He is taking advantage of a process that has been instituted by Parliament to deal with an individual that he views as a political opponent. Now what the Speaker indicating that Parliament will continue with the impeachment process, the question that arises why is the president in a hurry to want to suspend the public procurator? Why not allow this process to be completed? There were many court cases which actually found the public protector incompetent and not fit for the position. And therefore, this process must be completed so that the public in the end will regain trust in the office of the public protector. As the ATM, we are of the view that President Ramaphosa is highly conflicted on the matter and his actions can only be seen as a self-serving action for self-preservation interests. President Sir Ramaphosa must not waste time to suspend the public protector Busisiwe Mgweban from that office. It is long overdue. The public protector received a letter from the president confirming the news reports and informing her that he is considering suspending her in terms of section 194 subsection 3a of the constitution. The letter further invites the public protector to within 10 working days provide reasons why the president should not take such a step. Although the president's letter makes reference to the correspondence from the speaker and purports to attach it. No such letter was actually attached, suggesting a rushed process.